we're going to stand in the center of our mat, profile to one another for rebound lunges. We'll be going forward and back. Let's start. Arms overhead, shoulders plugged down, low belly firm. And we're going to step our right leg forward into the lunge, holding that lunge. Now, if you struggle with the balance or if having the arms overhead for a long period of time bothers bothers your shoulders or your back, you can always take choir arms. I'll turn and face you. They look like this, pulling out. And you can switch. Every time you switch lunge, you can switch the top hand. So your choice, choir arms or arms overhead. So holding that lunge, we'll step so the leg that was forward, we're going to brace our abs, keep our backpack of cement on so we're not forward leaning. We're going to push off that front leg all and float all the way back into a back lunge. Find it. Hold it. 20 seconds on the clock. Stay in this lunge. And let's, for the sake of increasing increasing the stretch in the hip flexor if you've been seated straight in your back leg instead of keeping it bent. As you move through it, obviously the knees are going to bend, but when you're holding the posture, keep that back leg straight. Now I'd like you to step the back leg in and we're going to switch our, our rebounding leg. So taking the other leg forward into your forward lunge, arms either overhead or in our choir pull-out position. What I see a lot when we travel forward is the whole torso collapsing forward. How can we avoid that? We can pull our belly in towards the spine and way below the belly button on those muscles that stop the stream of pee. We can lift in and up. It's like this elevator riding up the shaft of your torso energy, shooting all the way out through the mouth. It sounds like you're fogging a mirror or like Darth Vader from here. Inhale, brace your abs. And we're going to push off that front leg all the way into our back lunge, our reverse lunge, or crescent lunge as they call it in yoga. Finding the good position for the arms, noticing if you're looking down. We don't want that forward head or we don't want any kyphosis slipping in. So pull the shoulder blades together, keep your chin lifted, gaze soft, eyes straight ahead, step that back leg in. Turn and face me. Take your hands to your thighs and just circle the knees to the right for five, four, brace the abs, three, two, one. Inhale, center, brace your abs, counterclockwise, circle, two, or clockwise if you did it the reverse. Just reverse it. Enjoy that. Breathe. Turn back around. From here, we're going to do one more set on each side. So stepping back, find it. Or stepping forward. So reverse, so that rebound lunge, I really want you to think about the center propelling you forward or back. So you're pulling the abs in as you go back and then as you pull yourself forward. You really have to lift up through your center. So yeah, going back first this time makes sense. So we get that feeling of pushing off the back leg and going all the way through center and forward. So now... The leg that's back, we're going to brace our abs and we're going to lift it and we're going to go all the way forward with it without putting it down. Holding for 20 seconds with the arms overhead or in your choir position, pulling out, pulling the shoulder blades together, pulling the low belly in, softening the sternum, the breastbone, and the front ribs back. Beautiful. Step that leg in. We'll switch our leg that goes back first. Find the arm position that suits you today. Quiet your mind. Another 10 seconds here. Inhale. Think the word so, clearing your mind. Exhale. Think the word hum. Inhale. Think so. Exhale. Think hum. Inhale, prepare, brace your abs, backpack of cement on, no forward lean, pushing off the back leg to your forward lunge. Find it. 20 seconds on the clock here. We're breathing. Beautiful. Another 10 seconds, low belly's firm. We're lifting in and up on the muscles that stop our stream of pee, puffing the shoulder blades back, widening the collarbone. Inhale, prepare, brace your abs, exhale, stepping the front leg back to meet 
your back leg we should be probably in the center of the mat let's step to the top of the mat step our stronger leg back brace our abs and slowly lower the knee down then bringing the other leg back we're going to come into a regular plank high push-up position watch out for the butt being in the air pull the abs in towards the spine soften the sternum and breastbone back plug your shoulders down widen your collarbone Go ahead and lift your right leg up, hold it up, tw 10 seconds on the clock. It doesn't have to be lifted high. Watch out for rounding in the pelvis, tip the pelvis up, brace the low belly in towards the spine, lower that leg, lift the other leg up, holding it for 10 seconds. Watch out for rounding in the pelvis. So keep pulling the belly in towards the spine. Lower that leg, lower the knees. Find your way onto all four, hands and knees, wrist under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, coming into your cow pose. Exhale, brace the abs into cat pose. Inhale, cow, two, three, four. Exhale, cat, two, three, four. Inhale, cow, two, three, four. Exhale, cat, two, three, four. Beautiful. One more. Inhale, cow, two, three three, four, exhale, cat, two, three, four. Stepping back into your plank, find it, puff the shoulder blades back, wind the collarbone, lift the low abs in and up, holding one leg up for 10 seconds. Use your breath here. Widen that collarbone, chin lifted, involve the front of the neck, lower that leg, switch legs, holding it for 10 nine, low belly firm, eight, puff the shoulder blades up, seven, widen the collarbone, six, and five, four, dorsiflex foot, three, two, lower the foot, lower the knees, cat and cow, inhale, cow pose, two, three, four, exhale, cat pose, two, three, four, inhale, cow pose, two, three, four, exhale, cat pose, two, three, four, Good. Inhale, cow pose, two, three, four. Exhale, cat pose, two, three, four. Inhale, rise up on your knees. Step your right leg forward. Tuck the back toes under. Brace your abs. Arms in a high V overhead. Brace the abs. Step that back leg forward. We're now going to travel to the bottom of our mat. I'm going to turn to face you just so you see what's happening. For this exercise... I like the hands to be interlaced behind the back, like so. And we're going to step forward through space to knee flexion, the dorsiflexed foot, and open that thigh out to side knee flexion and back to forward knee flexion and to side. And we'll do that very slowly three times, and then we'll switch sides, so traveling forward and backwards. Follow me. We'll start at the bottom of the mat. Stepping onto our right leg, bringing our left leg to knee flexion. Brace the abs. Hands are interlaced behind the back. And we open out. And when we open out, let's add a little pulse. Two, three, four, close. Open it out. And pulse. Two, three, four, close. One more time. Open. And pulse. Two, three, four, close. Step that leg forward. Other leg comes up to knee flexion. Open it out to side knee flexion and pulse it up. Two, three, four. Back to forward knee flexion to side knee flexion, pulse, two, three, four, back to forward, and to side knee flexion, pulse, two, three, four, back to forward, leg that's lifted, step backwards through space onto it, other leg lifts, find the balance, hold, open, pulse, two, three, four, center, open, pulse, two, three, four, center, put your backpack of cement on, no forward lean, open, pulse, two, three, four, center, beautiful, stepping backwards through space, Find the balance, hold, and we open, pulse, two, three, center. Open, pulse, two, three, center. And last time, open, put the backpack of cement on, pulse, two, three, center, and lower. Coming over to the wall for a postural stretch for our calves. Stepping our right leg back, driving the pelvis forward, bracing the abs, hold it here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, 
Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Body scan, quiet the mind. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, relax your hip flexors, which are located around your groin area. Exhale, relax your chest. Inhale, relax your front body, the, the rib cage, the, the chest, the front of the shoulders. Just let that go. Step your back leg in and switch sides, setting up to stretch the calf on the other side. Drive that pelvis forward. Lift up through your center. Widen your collarbone. Chin up. Gaze soft. Breathe with me here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. We inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Last breath here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Great work. Step forward, turning around. Wonderful job. 